Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr, and at Looking Point, we help or I bye bye. Bye bye. Dang it, I was so close. I'm Sean Barr, and at Looking Point, we help IT organizations make technology decisions. And on this Back to the Basics, we're going to be talking about three things you can do in your security policy to make it better. Let's go! So today we're going to be talking about three things you can do around your security policy. So the question is, do you have a security policy? And if the answer is yes, it's always good to come back to your security policy, evaluate the decisions that you made, and also to validate, are we following the security policy in the way that we wrote it? So just going through that security policy and making sure that you've got the controls in place and that you're actually following it is going to get you in the right mindset to ensure that you're on the right track for your security policy. The second thing, and now the security policy is going to dictate what software and what tools you're going to use actually in your environment to secure it. But one of the things that's really important is two-factor authentication. A number of customers that we see sometimes don't have two-factor authentication. And with all the things around phishing attacks and those types of things, it's really important to have a second layer of authentication. So if you just have your password and it gets captured or phished, someone could get into your email which is really, really important nowadays. It is the primary form of communication between businesses is still email. And if you've got just a single password protecting it, you really need to think about two-factor authentication. It's critical to security in organizations today. And the third thing is, do you have a way to correlate all that data and visualize it? So whether that's a security incident management tool, so or a log management tool, or some third-party cloud management tool that will take in all those alerts and logs, correlate them to put them in a nice dashboard. If you don't have that, it's really tough to take all the telemetry from those things out in the environment and provide visibility to it. So those are the three things. Make sure you have a security policy. That's going to dictate all the tools. Two-factor authentication is really critical today with all the accessibility over the internet and applications being out there and easily accessible. The third thing is making sure you have good visibility to all the telemetry data that you're getting from the network, from the cloud, all of those, those places that are going to be feeding in that information. You need a place to consolidate that, view it, so you can tell what's happening across your landscape. So if I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I want to know more about that, you can always leave a comment. You can check us out at lookingpoint.com. And again, if you're out there and you're going to be deploying IT infrastructure, you're going to be purchasing IT infrastructure, or you just want help managing reach out to us at lookingpoint.com and we can help you out. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.